I'm Chef D.S. Elias. I'm fascinated by the looks, sounds, smells, and taste of different cultures. The food plane will bring different parts of the world, perhaps parts you've never visited, right into your home. So get ready, and let's travel the world together, next on The Food <laughs> Today we continue our journey on the island of Puerto Rico as I show you how to make the island's delicious cuisine. On this episode of The Food Plane, I will show you how to prepare a Puerto Rican meal using the ingredients from episode one. So if you haven't watched episode one, go back, watch episode one of last week. And today we're gonna do rice and beans with those ingredients. All right, you're gonna need a packet of sazon. You're gonna need a packet of, uh, or chicken stock, or a packet of chicken stock, ham flavoring. We're gonna need tomato sauce, cumin. You're gonna need your salt, your pepper. You're gonna need some rice today. You're gonna need a potato. You're gonna need an onion. You're gonna need bay leaf. You're gonna need cilantro that's chopped up as you can see here. So remember, you're gonna need a small potato, a small onion, and whether you make your beans, your habichuelas, your frijoles, uh, whether you make it from the can or fresh, it's, it doesn't matter. Then you, your recarito, which you made last week, and your mojo, and the rest of the ingredients I shared. Take that um, potato, take that onion, chop that up. I have large dice on the potatoes and medium dice on the onions. In Spanish, beans are sometimes called habichuelas or frijoles. So in a saucepan, I'm putting in a little oil, and then I'm going to start sauteing my onions. And mmm, the smell that's coming out of this pan. Oh, it's so wonderful. So you're going to give that a good stir. I do not want browning. I, I don't mind just a slight browning, but that's not really what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to put the mojo in there, and I'm going to give that a nice stir. And oh my god, the flavors that are coming out. So I put about two tablespoons of mojo. Give that a good stir. Oh, you smell that already? The house is filling up with the smells of Puerto Rico. Now let's talk about recaito. Recaito also is called sofri. However, for the purpose of me teaching people who may not know nothing about Puerto Rican food, the green stuff is recarito. When you add the red stuff, when you add anything tomato, especially tomato sauce, now you have a sofri. All right, just for the purpose of a uh, uh, first time of learning Puerto Rican food. So I just added the green stuff, recaito, which we made in episode one last week. I added that to the pan. Now once I add, now think again, so this is also known as sofrito in Puerto Rico. For the purpose of teaching a first timer, the green stuff is a recaito. Now what we're doing is making a sofrito. So I'm adding the tomato sauce and now we have our sofrito. This sofrito is the base of many, many dishes. If you add a, a whole chicken in pieces, um, you'll have chicken stew with just that. Now here we have al caparrado. Al caparrado is uh, green olives, um, red pepper, and capers in a brine. And as look at the look at the color. Look at that. We add some of that into the into the beans. Like I said, put some chicken in here, and you have your chicken stew. Now we just we're adding our packets. We added um, our chicken stock, our sazon. I added a little cumin. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of this ham flavoring. Now, sometimes it'll clump up a little bit depending on the weather where you're at, but that's okay, put some of that. You don't want too much, you just want some of that in there to give that uh, beans a, a great flavoring. This is amazing, you are making Puerto Rican food. That's crazy. This is delicious, it's gonna smell so good and it's something different and I think you're gonna be very proud of yourself for making this. It's absolutely delicious. Hey, if you love fun food fact videos and delicious recipes just like this, wait till you see where we're going next week. I'm excited. Subscribe right now so you don't miss anything. I just added the beans now 
Now look at that. Oh, it's just wonderful. We're going to let that heat up, let it reduce a little bit, let those potatoes cook up, and oh my gosh, it's going to be fantastic. Wait till you see where we are visiting next week. You don't want to miss it. We will be coming back to Puerto Rico, but we are leaving Puerto Rico next week, going to, uh, well, you're going to have to find out. So I added the bay leaf, and I added the chopped cilantro now. We're going to give that a good stir. And by now, your kitchen has the smell of Puerto Rico everywhere. Oh, this is exciting. Let me know in the comments, have you ever had Puerto Rican food? If so, what did you have? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Are you from Puerto Rico? Half my family are Puerto Rican. The other half are Jewish. So we're Puerto Rican too. So in my, in my house, we have this. Now, especially during a... Uh, Christmas season, Thanksgiving season, we do some special stuff. There's so much in Puerto Rican food. I added a little salt and pepper, by the way, to the beans. There's so much with Puerto Rican food that we have to come back and visit. But I wanted you to have a foundation. At least now you can make your rice and you can make your beans. All right, so let's make that rice, by the way. So, as always, as you should with all rice, because we don't want a sticky rice. We're not looking for a sushi or anything like that. We're going to rinse out that starch. And sometimes it could take up to five rinses to get rid of all of that starch. Now, as you can see here, check that out. You can see it soaked. The water is cloudy. You can hardly see the rice grains. So keep rinsing that out until the water is clear and you can see the rice uh, through the water. Let me know in the comments, where would you like the food plane to land? Where would you like to see the food plane land? You know what this channel is all about. It's all about international cuisine. We are all about food and culture. On every episode, we're traveling to a different part of the world, and I'm showing you how to make food from all around the world. So you can take, you don't, you don't have to go to Puerto Rico to have Puerto Rico experience in your home you don't have to go to india or, or or the middle east or all these places that we're going to travel to so you can bring these places to your home through the food plane all right so this is a calderon this is a calderon and in puerto rican homes you will see this hot because it develops a great thing that's going to happen to this rice by the time it's finished all right so i put some oil down there. I put about a, a fourth cup of oil, sometimes just a little more than that. And I'm covering the rice in this oil, this rinsed out rice, and I'm giving that a nice stir, giving it, making sure it's all coated with the oil. And now I'm adding the water. Usually, as, as you can see here, how far, I, it's about one to two inches away from the rice. So usually they say for every cup of rice, you add two cups of water. So stick to that. Um, you know, for Puerto Rican, it's, it's an art form to make good rice. So it, it's, it's going to take some practice, but I'm trying to show you here how far the rice is and how much water I have in there. So the salt has made a little cloud, cloudiness and whatever little starch is left made it a little cloudy, but it's totally fine. All right, you're going to put the cover on it. You're going to put the heat on high to begin. You want to avoid this from happening. So you got to be careful because this will happen because I have the water on high. Now I took the lid off and I'm about to lower it. So there's going to be a lot of putting it back high and, and then lowering it. Putting it back high and then lowering it. So I could develop this thing that's going to happen at the end. A lot of you Puerto Ricans know where I'm going with this. So here you go, and this is the second time. So about five, six minutes later, I uncovered the top, and now we're gonna give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna put the lid back on it and put crank it. Every time I put the lid back on, I'm gonna crank it up. And then I'm gonna turn the heat down every, like after cranking it up for like two minutes, then I, I put it back down. So it's gonna be a lot of cranking up and a little putting down. Cranking up, putting down about two or three times. So here is my third time. So I uncovered the lid for the third time and now we have our rice is almost done. If you notice, it's not sticking together. They're perfectly loose. And now we got something happening at the bottom of this pot. You Puerto Ricans know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Hey, if 
you like fun food fact videos and delicious recipes like this, please hit that subscribe button. I can use the encouragement. Look at this rice. Oh my gosh, perfect rice. I took out the rice, put it in a bowl, and now we have, yes, say it, say it, Puerto Rican. All right, well, some are saying con con, and some are saying guapa. Listen to this. Oh, yes. Scrape that. Scrape that out, and look what you got. Fried rice. We, we call it con con. Some people call it rapa. But, oh, yeah, you cannot have. This is like a, having pork skin when you're having pork shoulders or fed meat. This is Puerto Rican fried rice that happens in, what, what do they call it in Spain? Supri? I, I forgot right now. But here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You just made rice and beans at home. You should be proud of yourself. Check this out. It smells good. It is absolutely delicious. You have it with your protein that you marinated in the mojo and then sprinkled some adobo on it and had it roasting. Yes, people. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure to Puerto Rico. Next week, we are traveling somewhere else. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week.